Welcome to a fast streamlined tutorial. This tutorial is for updating boxes that do not have a pack loader or do not have the button on pack loader for updating the pack loader. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the center icon on the home page. If you're not on the home page, you can click the home button on your remote. And once the streamlined site opens up, click on support. At this point, use the down arrows or your mouse to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can hear how many times I have to click it if I'm using the down arrows. And then you're going to click on the app installer. If you are using your remote, you're going to use the mouse. You press the button one time. And then you move the arrow keys on the directional pad and you'll start seeing your mouse pointer appear and just get it over top of the app installer and then press the OK button on the remote. If you're using a mouse, just use it like normal. You'll see downloading started or started downloading. And that only takes a couple of seconds. Uh, at the time that I'm doing this right now, if I pull down the top scroller, you can see here the download is complete. But uh, at this point, we're going to hit the home button on your remote. And then we're going to go back to my apps and app installer, hit local disk, app loader, and then click install. If you see anything else, any other options, just ignore them. Just hit install. After it's uh, done, you're going to see that it's uh, done or open. You're just going to go ahead and hit open. If you see anything asking you for super user access or anything like that, just go ahead and tell it yes, give it, give it super user access. More than likely, you will not see anything like that. But uh, for the preservation of time in this video, I'm just going to install the two key components here that we need, which is the pack loader and the system update. If you are waiting for a remote control session, you're definitely going to need the support update and the support core update. So you can see here, I'm going from 14.2 to 16.1. I'm going to say yes. And the download on this should only take a few seconds. Uh, if yours takes longer than mine, which you can see mine's already done downloading, uh, just go ahead and pause your video until it's done downloading and that way you can stay caught up with us and then once you get to the next point here then you can go ahead and unpause the video all right so everything is done i'm going to hit exit and as soon as i hit exit it's going to open up the new pack loader at this point, you're going to choose either standard pack or extended pack. The standard pack has no adult content. The extended pack, get it, extended pack, has adult content. So go ahead and choose whichever pack you'd like, and the app will close and restart. If you notice up here at the top, the date for my version is currently 2015, and it says server version, no internet. Don't worry about that. It's because it hasn't saved its update, its updated preferences yet. After it reopens, you can see server version is whatever the current version is at the time of uh, this video, which was done in September, September 9th, or September 3rd, I'm sorry, was the current one. So you can see 2016, September 3rd. My version is zero because I haven't installed it yet. If you click on remove partial downloads, that's going to clear out any downloaded files that you have on the box and just clear up some space make sure everything's all uh, cleared up for you i'm going to go ahead and hit yes and then install pack if you want to clear cache and data this is going to wipe out any saved settings uh, anything that's uh, that's in there additional channels or add-ons that you may have downloaded all that stuff will be wiped out so if you do not want to do that remove the checkbox it's your choice. If you're having trouble with the uh, channels, buffering, any other issues, then you'll definitely want to leave that checked. And then hit yes, and that's it. You are done. 
it's going to go ahead and uh, download that. The download process should take less than four minutes. If it takes longer than four minutes, your internet speed is horrible. As you can see here, just in the past few seconds, mine's already at 25%. So mine takes about 30 to 45 seconds to download. I've got a really decent connection. Uh, normal time on this should be less than two minutes after the install is complete then it's going to exit out but right now it's just doing the download and then it's going to start the install i'll let you see the install starting of course like i said you're already finished so if you want to you can exit this video right now you don't have to continue watching at this point all right so that's done downloading now I went ahead and uh, paused the video while it finished that install process there. You can see now that uh, we have the app loader at the top there. So those uh, apps, we only do updates on those about once every year, maybe twice a year at the most. And uh, then there's the pack loader. If you uh, hit that plus symbol on the main screen and then go over and find the pack loader. And then just click on, oops. And then just click on that. Hit the back arrow, and now it's on there. We do pack updates about once every month. And then go ahead and launch the Media Center movie section. And you'll see that it does look a little different now. Do also keep in mind that down at the bottom of the screen, we have that scroller, and that's going to show you any current news. So please be sure to check that out every time you log in. Right now, football season just started, and so it's telling you how to find the, uh, the best feeds for football as of yesterday. So today is Monday, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. Yesterday was Sunday, and that's when that was uh, posted there to help people find those football games. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Do make sure that you clear your cache and data in here as well. So delete those packages and delete the cache by hitting that star, and that's going to keep everything up to date. The box itself will automatically update all of the different apps that are installed on here. So enjoy. Happy streamlining.